Alan Argamowicz here, and today I'm playing some Stardew Valley, and I'm probably going to jump ahead to this day right here, but I figured I would record up into it just because. So, to give you a brief idea of what's going on, for the entirety of this game's year, which I think we're in year 8, I have been doing uh, no selling of any of my resources whatsoever. Um, for the most part. Well, let me just see what the hell's going on. No, 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 I don't care. What do you want? Yeah, whatever. Alright, so, <clears throat> everything that's been planted here, because th I've had this farm layout, which is, I feel, one of the most efficient farm layouts you could possibly get. Um, maybe you could fit a little bit more in if you didn't have, like, this path here. Uh, with the trees, you could have fit, like, um, another layer of whatever, but for the most part, um, and so everything I have planted has been stored in, uh, the Jumino's houses or Jumimo's houses, um, and all the animal products, such as the cheeses, the truffle oils, the mayonnaises, have been stored in here. So you can see how many I have. Like, there's a lot. Uh, and I haven't sold any of those. In fact, the only thing that I've been making income from is my crystallariums, which I have a lot of, so I've been able to keep up pretty good with that. Uh, everything else has been stored and is waiting uh, for sale, and I want to sell it all on one day. Um, this is other things I've collected, such as honeys, wines, jellies. Uh, random fruit bits that don't fit within my collection. Uh, normally I try to collect a hundred of each item and that's what these boxes are. Uh, but as you can see not all of them have a hundred of each item. But the ones that do uh, have a hundred the leftovers go in here. Um, so on, on top of all this shit, all the animal shit, all the farm shit, I also have this greenhouse. And in this greenhouse well, it's time to harvest this shit. Our ancient fruits. I'm gonna harvest this super duper quickly. Alright. Um. So, as you can see, I do collect a lot. And I have been collecting a lot. And that's as many wines as this has made. And I could technically... Uh, put them in casks and uh, age them, but it takes like a whole year and honestly it's not really worth it for the money that you get. Uh, so my goal is to see exactly how much an entire year's worth of stuff brings in at a fairly optimal farm. Is not probably the most, but it is fairly good and I'm thinking it'll bring in a lot of money. Um, Again, I don't really use the casks. They don't... They take too long and they're really not worth it. I've figured it out and you can make more money um, using them for crystallariums with diamonds in them. So that is what I do. Alright, let me deal with these animals. Actually, uh, I'll probably just jump ahead a little bit. Alright, so my diamonds are ready to be harvested, and this is how I make my money all year, so I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of, like, why I'm not really hard up needing to sell my crops throughout the year. Alright, 200. It should be like 201, but I lost one, so that's fine. Alright, so here's what uh, 200 diamonds come up to. Yeah, so it's really not, not a bad haul. Uh, it's also why I don't need, you know, like I mentioned before, the crops, because getting this twice a month is more than enough. But I am curious to see... Uh, what the crops will come up to. And the day has finally come. I have waited all year for this day. It's the last day of the year. 
We get to sell everything. I can only hope that it's... Well, whatever. We'll see how it goes. I'm really excited. Ah. Well, it's a good thing I checked. Well, I would have anyways, but... Alright. Now that that's all set, we should have another harvest of this before... Next one, so let's go and drop all this shit off. And while we're at it, we will grab the jams. Let's grab all of our jams just to kind of get them all together. And then all that honey, tulip. Summer Spangle Poppy Honey. Honey. Regular honey is hard to come by. You have to, like, have, um, one of these things up with honey in it, and then you have to break it down so it pops into your inventory, and then it'll just be honey instead of wild honey. Alright, so that's all that. Let's throw it all in here. Blup, 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 blup. Let's grab all the lines. Actually, we can just grab all of it. Because it's all going in there. Get all these lines. This is ancient fruit wine, uh, iridium grade, which is uh, what I had down in the casks. And, uh, myth. 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 Alright, um, I guess we'll start collecting, let's start from the far end and work our way over. This so might take a little while. You're the top one, you're the top one. Look at all those coffee beans. <laughs> so much coffee! damn flowers. They're there. So the only thing with this formation is that I can't get uh, extra large crops, which do yield more. But being that it's a weird percentage of what you could possibly get. So if I didn't have these rows here, there's a chance I could have gotten like large crops. I scooched everything over a little bit. But as far as what the chuminos or whatever they're called, we'll pluck out. This seemed to be the best bet. And then I could actually walk through. Look, their little thing is gone. Look at that little basket. You still have one because you have to go where the other seeds go. <laughs> yeah, I have 
lot of seeds. I think spring's the only one I'm a little shy on, but whatever. Whatever, yo. out and then we will collect those for the sales all right mead i could have made more mead i just didn't and i could have also turned the dino eggs into mayonnaise but it was kind of hit or miss as to whether it'd be worth it or not. I think under certain circumstances, and I might have that circumstance, it's worth a little bit more as mayonnaise, but... Meh. Meh. Alright, and then I have this one here, which I've just been putting aside, which is iridium grade shit. Because... Rare. Sleep for the night. Yes. Okay. Ha! Ha! Ha ha. I honestly kind of thought it would be a little bit more money than that, but. Foraging, yeah, not much of anything. This is the 50 diamonds. Other, all the coffee bins. The rabbits put the dino eggs. Yeah, dino eggs are like meh. Duck feathers. Grand total, four million, almost five million. Well, on that note, I would like to thank you all for joining me for this little experiment. Um, it yielded quite a bit of money. Maybe not as much as I had hoped for, but I mean, I don't know really what else I was expecting. Maybe 10,000? This was less than half of that, but I don't know. Eh, it kind of gives me an idea of what I can and cannot make and I think kind of working with the crystallariums is maybe much better, but... Mm. Excuse me, anyways. Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, then please subscribe and do all that YouTube shit. And if there's anything you'd like to see me do in Stardew Valley, please let me know down below. I do need to still do the 100 uh, level thing, challenge thing in the Skull Cave, so maybe that's what I'll tackle next. But anyways... I'll see you guys in a different video. Bye!